A seed planted in soil will soon germinate, forming a tiny new root and shoot. The cells of this new plant have been produced by the apicomeristems near the ends of the root and shoot. There the cells divide, elongate and differentiate, forming tissues and tissue systems. That part of the plant formed as a result of the activity of the apical meristems is termed the primary plant body. Later in the development of many plants, cells are formed from secondary or lateral meristems located parallel to the long axis of the plant. The cells produced by these meristems add bulk to the plant and cause it to increase in diameter. Thus, a secondary plant body composed of secondary tissues is added to the primary. We will examine the primary tissues and tissue systems present in the root, stem, and leaves of the primary vegetative plant body. Let's start with the root. Put a shovel in the earth almost anywhere on this planet, and you will turn up the roots of some plant. Roots serve to take up water and minerals from the soil and conduct them to the stem. Roots also anchor the plant and may also function in storing foodstuffs that are important in the survival of the plant under certain conditions. 